All right, so welcome to Jazz Piano Daily number 93. Now we're going to start to talk about how to improvise over Georgia. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with that uh, basic fill section at the end of the first ending in the coda before you go back to the beginning of the song. So let me show you the sheet music and we'll start to break this down. Now, bear in mind that I'm going to be talking about improvisation for the next several days, okay? So if you've always wanted to learn how to improvise over standards, then this information is going to be really, really useful to you. All right, uh, and I'm not going to kind of baby it. I'm not going to uh, start at a very basic bare bones level. We're going to kind of get it to more of an intermediate level and then move on from there. All right, so the first thing that you'll see is that um, uh, I'm not starting right on the beat with the right hand, okay? And the reason for that is, remember, we end with this. Right, so it's four and, right? So if I'm gonna start right on the beat, four and one, I'd have to be right there. So instead, what I do is I give just a little bit of a pause, a little breath, by adding in that eighth rest, so. Now the line is, so it's uh, triplet, 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 triplet. So it's triplet, triplet, triplet. Right, so it starts on the a. Uh, triplet, triplet. Now that's the way that I vocalize the triplets. Triplet, triplet. They're actually called triplets. They're not called triplets. But when vocalizing them, rather than saying one E and a two E, or, or rather than saying one E, a two E, a three E, a four E, a, which is the typical subdivision vocalization, I find it's a lot easier to, to just say triplet, 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 triplet. So the first triplet here, right, or the first eighth note in the triplet is going to be a rest. So it's triplet. So it's triplet, triplet, D ba D ba D ba D ba. All right. All right. So we have trip a let trip a let d ba d ba d ba d ba. Let me show you. Also, I wrote in all the fingering for you as well, so you have all the fingering there. All right. So trip a let. Now, some things to to clue into here on this. Uh, improv here is notice we start on the root, even though yes, it's starting on the uh, uh, like off the beat, okay. And then on beat two, we go to the third of the F. On beat three, we're at the third of the B flat. On beat four, we're playing the fifth of the B flat. So you see how we're utilizing our chord tones, we kind of have these guideposts. And then once we get to the next measure, well, what are we doing? We're going to the fifth, and then where do we resolve? We resolve to the seventh of our C7. So Triplet, triplet. This is the B flat. Back to F. Let's see. Okay. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to play it nice and slow for you, so you can just get it and you can play it. My suggestion is just try and learn it, play it. If you don't fully understand the theory of it so far, don't worry about it. We're going to be talking more about this as we go. So here we go. Now, I would say that there is a huge benefit to just learning how to play something rather than uh, getting so overworked with, you know, thinking about, well, what am I doing? How am I doing it? You know, there's time for that, right? So remember that there's, there's a lot of benefit of just learning how to play something and getting it underneath your fingertips. And then from here, then we can start to change it around. Just get this under your fingertips nice and loose. All right, so now we're going to start to change it around. So you see what, I'm, uh, what I did here is I'm saying use the rhythm to create your own. And really it should be to create your own lick, all right? So you'll notice here what I did is I took the rhythm from above. Let me make this a little bit smaller so you can see it. All right, so you see how this rhythm right here Okay, is exactly the same rhythm as this right up here. Okay, so it's exactly the same rhythm. I just put it all on the note G for right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
pick notes that I could apply to that rhythm, okay? So again, what I did was I'm taking the rhythm from the example I just did. Okay, so I'm taking that rhythm, okay, and now I'm going to apply new notes to the rhythm, but I'm not going to change the rhythm. Well, why am I doing that? I'm doing that because the rhythm works well. It's a nice rhythm, has some interest in there, there's like some, uh, uh, like some upbeats, there's some triplets in there, there's eighth notes, there's anticipation, right? So it really kind of has like a lot of nice elements to it to make your improvised line here sound kind of interesting, rather than just playing straight eighth notes, right? All right, so I, I don't want to change the rhythm because I don't want to have to come up with some brand new rhythm right now. Let's say I'm just getting started with improvisation. Well, I don't want to have to think of the rhythm, I don't want to have to think about the notes, I don't want to have to think about the progression, the chords. So you're just taking away certain elements. You already know the rhythm works, so just use that rhythm again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that rhythm, we're going to apply new notes. So what notes do we choose? Start with your chord tones first, right? Now, this is where it's really important to know all of the chord tones for all of the chords that you're applying, right? So F major seventh is F A C E, B flat seven, B flat D, F A flat, F major seven, F A C E, C augmented seven, C E G, uh, C -E -G sharp, B flat, right? You need to make sure that you really know all of the notes of these chords. One good way of doing that is kind of like go through and arpeggiate them and just kind of play around with them. Feel nice and loose with those notes. Make sure you really kind of know what those notes are. All right, so now we can just start plugging in notes. And what's kind of cool is if you have like a music notation software or something like this, you could, you know, come up with as many permutations and variations as you want. I am literally going to just choose random notes. I'm not really going to think about it too much. I'm not going to try and play it first. All right, so let me start with... Um, uh, C, A, and then I'll go down F, uh, I'm going to do this, a little, and let's tie that over into this, okay? So now the line I have, It's great. Now I know if you're watching this on YouTube and you're, you're catching the free version of it, I understand you can't see the sheet music for it. If you're interested in getting the sheet music and really kind of unlocking a lot of this stuff, then I suggest you check out Jazz Piano Daily for all of that sheet music. Um, but anyway, you could still watch and you could still learn from this. All right, so what I'm doing here is notice it's all chord, all chord tones. And for right now, I'm just going to play just the root of the chord. I'm not going to bother to go and do the, the stride pattern. So F. So it's the fifth, third, root. And see how I do this little enclosure to get to the fifth of the B flat? What did I play in the B flat? Played all chord tones. Five, seven, root, three. And then when I went back to the F major, seven, I actually even played the E, which is part of the, uh, the F major 7, but it also creates, or also becomes, I should say, the third of that C augmented, right? So you could create almost an endless amount of improvised lines or improvised lines just by using this approach. Now I suggested you try that and what I did was I also gave you a spot here where you could print this off and you could write in your own as well. So again, let's just briefly talk about what that concept is again. Uh, let me make it a little bit more simple for you. I'm just going to stay in the F chord, okay? I'm just going to stay in the F chord, that's it. I'm just going to play that back and forth. All right, now let's say that the, the rhythm I have is uh, uh, so that's D ba D ba D ba D ba all straight eighth notes D ba D ba D ba D ba one and two and three and four and all right so then what I say is like okay I'm not going to change the rhythm let me just apply new notes. All 
right, let me try it again. Use chord tones. Changed it a little bit there, I added in the downbeat. Okay, now that rhythm is pretty basic, right? All eighth notes. Let's say I had a, a little bit, uh, something a little bit more interesting. Mm, ba trippa la di ba da. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking that same rhythm, I keep playing the rhythm over and over, but the notes are different, all right? So what that does for you is it makes it a little bit easier to get started with improvisation, especially if you've never done it before, because now we take away the rhythm element of it. You already know what the rhythm is going to be, okay? So you're all, you're all set there. You got the rhythm, so now it's just a matter of choosing different notes. Now don't worry if this concept is a little bit foreign to you, we're going to be talking a little bit more as we move on, but this is just a to get started. All right, so again, what I suggest you try doing is do that last part. All right, and you can do that last part and you can, you know, do your own fills. Or do what's, what's written here. All right, or change it around. I can come up with all these different permutations and have fun just creating these new ideas, right? What I'm doing is I'm only improvising over two measures. Makes it a little bit more palatable and a little bit more manageable because you're not trying to improvise over the entire song just yet, okay? All right, so anyway, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. To get the first 45 pages of music for free, just go back to jazzpianodaily.com. If you liked the video, please be sure to click the like button and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. To watch the rest of the lessons in this series, just click on the playlist to the right of this arrow. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.